One of the U.S. Army's top priorities is acquiring new long-range precision fires capabilities using both missiles and artillery. But what about combining the two? That's at the heart of a proposal from Norwegian company NAMO, who unveiled a ramjet-powered artillery shell at the Eurosatory Defense Exposition. A lot of armies either have or are about to introduce L-52 guns. That will give them a firing range of about 40 kilometers. We, we see that the next development phase of extending that range lies on the ammunition side. When it comes to ammunition, NAMO wants to combine an artillery shell with a ramjet engine, which would provide a massive increase in range. When we merge the kind of our rocket motor side with the um, ammunition side, we believe that we have the competence within the company to bring artillery forward, the tube artillery forward. And as for why a ramjet was chosen versus a normal rocket engine, NAMO says it's for a very specific reason. You can, you can use the same amount of fuel, but you, you, you have through an air breathing, air intake, you, you kind of take the oxygen from the air, so the motor can burn much longer than a traditional rocket motor. But when it comes to entering the U.S. market, NAMO says they can't do it alone. For entering the U.S. market, we are seeking a possible American uh, uh, corporation partners for this. And we are in dialogue with, uh, w with a potential partner that will kind of take us really into the U.S. waters. But their work on range extension isn't just on the ramjet-powered shell. It's across the entire spectrum of ammunition. There is a range of things. One is longer range. There is uh, also potential to replace cargo ammunition, other type of warheads. So there is a lot of activities that we, of course, are involved in now and, and will be in the future.